Hey folks, just a quick video on my Home Assistant enabled uh, tractor battery monitor. Uh, basically, um, this is using ESP Home and it's connected to my Home Assistant uh, Raspberry Pi uh, server. So these are the cables that are, the wires that are going to the battery. Uh, they go in into um, a voltage regulator that steps down the 12 volts down to five volts. Uh, I removed the power LED on this module, that way it saves as much power as possible. And this is the um, ESP8266 D1 Mini that does all the control. And down below there you can see there is uh, my uh, resistor that uh, is connected to the uh, A0 pin. And then this switch connects the, um, uh, the reset uh, pin to the um what is it the tx uh, i forget now uh but anyways basically that is to enable the uh wake up from deep sleep so i have it going to deep sleep for two hours and then it wakes up for about five minutes uh it makes a bunch of voltage readings and uh, it sends them over to my home assistant of course and then I have an integration that will uh, read the battery voltage and when it goes below 12 volts, it alerts me. So uh, this year I ran out of uh, my battery. Uh, I haven't been using my tractor very much, so my battery ran out a bunch of times. So I decided to finally get this done. And uh, what I have to do now, of course, is build an enclosure. And uh, right now I just have it hanging right there. <coughs> I will build an enclosure and then I will put it into this ammo box that I have here. Uh, for other purposes so that way it will be nice and dry insulated and so on so uh, it's been working fine it's been on the tractor for about two weeks now and I get all the historical data uh, over time I have uh, different charts set up to, to show me the trend over um, a month uh, and over a week and over 48 hours and over tw uh, 24 hours so that way I can kind of monitor that. But again, the most important thing is the alert. When it goes below 12 volts, it gives me uh, a warning. It sends my message on my phone, and uh, I know that uh, I need to. Um, I know that I need to uh, go off and charge the battery or use the tractor or one of those two. So um, not a high tool video, just kind of to show you that this is doable and it's and it works fine. And like I said, with sleep every two hours or for two hours, I should say every. Uh, staying on only about four or five minutes uh, it's enough so that uh, if I need to do an over-the-air update uh, you know the tractor sits in the shed it's not too far from my from my from my office which is up there um, so if I need to do an over-the-air update I can do that and uh, I know that every two hours I have a, a four or five minute window to do that and I have done that already I've changed a few things to make it more efficient uh, I think I was taking measurements every 10 seconds you know when it was on you don't need to do that obviously so I think I have a set to every 60 seconds but again I want it on long enough so that if I need to do an update I have enough time to do that when it does wake up uh, I put the switch here because that way if I want to disconnect the uh, the reset pin uh, for whatever reason, if I want to uh, reset it manually so that when it's asleep, do an update, I can flip the switch, uh, plug it into my laptop, do a, a forced update, if you will, and uh, which it won't work if the if the pin, if the reset pin is connected. Uh, so that's the purpose for that switch. And other than that, it works great. Have fun. Bye.